Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson here. I've got Connor Smork right here. Connor, what's up, dude? How you um, feeling? I feel pretty good. Uh, we've had a request at one of our, our academy. Um, a guy named Santos, he really wants to see that uh, ghost escape of yours. The ghost escape. Okay, so the ghost escape, I've got a lot of ghost escape videos, but they were interested in the ghost, but was it, wasn't there something else you wanted? Right, it was the ghost escape to the phantom escape. Okay, to the phantom, okay. So I have a phantom video. I think I have one or two, maybe, maybe two. But uh, putting them together, I kind of played with, I talked about it. So here, check it out. Let's do the basic ghost escape again. When the guy gets you inside control, your arms, you don't wanna have your elbows out. So the first thing you do is you pull your elbows in. So I have my elbows in, he's in the classic side control. He may or may not be smashing your face or trying to choke you. So normally, this is very common, you'll have your hand right here in his hip. My left hand, of course, in my original ghost video, I load my toes. I bridge and I move my opponent off balance. That way now, I, uh, I hit the skate. As I hit the skate, I grip the arm and my hand passes between. I roll my legs towards the other side and I go belly down. That's the original, okay? That's the way I set it up original. But then, the ghost escape became unstoppable. When the ghost escape became unstoppable for me, I said, screw the setup. Why do I need to throw him this way, which makes him drive harder into me, which helps push me out? Why? I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I'll do it without a setup. So when I'm here, I just make sure that his right elbow stays where it is as I pummel my hand. And now I'm turning my hips towards the left. Now, when you do this, I grip the triceps as needed. I never, there's a lot of people out there that will teach the ghost. And personally, I think it's not nearly as effective. A lot of people will do this. They'll put their hand here and, and, and uh, Connor's gonna let me do it. I'm gonna pop out. And then as you pop out, you've got a ghost escape, or excuse me, a, a Darce attack off your ghost escape. Now, why is that not good? Because almost everyone learns right away, the moment you do this and you're starting to pop out, they move their arm to the other side. So even if your head comes through, you're now caught in north-south. So you, with the north-south position, you're not able to make the, the ghost escape effective. So I never do that. I always, stay on this side with my arm. I grip his arm, and then when I move, he could be squeezing me, I'd use my kick, my little flutter kick like this. See that? Even if he holds me tight, go ahead and hold me tight, squeeze. I pop out anyway, and I get up, and now I'm in a front headlock. And if you're a Darce fanatic, like I am sometimes, I will go to the Darce instead, I will, little flutter kick here, like this. And then once I'm here, I'll hold his neck and then wrap and wrap that darts. Always wrist deep, you should be wrist deep. Never grab your darts here and have a space from your elbow to his head. Biggest um, mistake, pitfall that I see is people have a gap. See his head, how I'm elbowing it? Lift your head up, Connor. You see how your head can, you know, yeah, lift your head till you hit my elbow. No, no, go back, head back down. And now lift your head up and down. You can touch my elbow with your head and go back down. Look at how much room there is. Feel that? Now watch. Now try to move your head. That. See that? You can't move. Now when I squeeze, he's gonna tap right away, okay? So that's your ghost escape to the darts. But what inevitably will happen besides other types of defenses. Oh, uh, let's go to the other side because just so I'm good on both sides, but I don't want to confuse the viewer. So when I'm coming out this way, inevitably he will move this arm to the other side. So when you go over here, maybe, 
you get here and he does that. Now when he does it, my hips are pointing the wrong direction. I now need to swing my legs back the other direction. And now this hand that was the tricep grip doesn't have the triceps anymore. It's gonna be the pressure against the head. As I pressure the head, this arm becomes the arm grabbing. As I pressure his head, I swing back and I arm drag. As I arm drag, I come up on the guy's back in the top turtle position, and then we go from there. We take the back, maybe go to crucifix, whatever you like. So again, you guys will start maybe with the ghost. As I move, he moves his arm. Boom, once he moves his arm, I now wanna move this way. See what's happening. He wants to take his head and counter by driving his head towards my left hip. Circle towards your uh, north south a little bit. Good. Now look guys, I can't make the phantom work now. See how his position is. I can't do the phantom anymore. So if I was in this position and I felt like I couldn't budge this guy's head, I wouldn't worry about that. I would start to create escapes that are different, you know, that are different to try to escape. Inevitably, you will find yourself, just go to what I call the doorstop position. Put your elbow here, eyes, and put your, no, no, don't go around the head. Just go elbow down. This is a classic position here. So if someone's in this position, you can't ghost them. So if you were trying to ghost, it does not gonna work. So you go to the triceps. So when, just subtle differences. The way that Connor chose to control was to grab my arm like this, which is fun. I have the same grip he has, and now I do the phantom, and you see the arm drag now. I would sit up and go for his back. Now, if he has his hand on the mat, which is very common, sometimes on your leg, it also might be controlling your thigh, like that, or it's on the mat. These kind of positions, this is where the phantom shines very well. I'll go right here. He wants to push his head to here, but my job is to go high on the, on the head, to crank the neck a little bit. Try to put your head there. See that move? Now look, if you check the camera underneath, his arm is trapped by my butt. Try to pull your arm out, it's very hard. I have my weight on it, I turn, and now I got the classic seatbelt position. You guys are gonna be coming in looking for crucifixes and taking the back and such. So how do you tie them together? You do a drill. You're gonna to have to help me on this drill, okay? okay? So what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna start like this. We're gonna go ghost first. So I'm swinging this way. He's gonna switch his arms, switch the left as well. No, guys, also let me say this for Connor. Uh, don't always go around the head like a wrestler, like that. Put your hand like this. You don't always have to go for a north-south choke. You don't always do that. Sometimes if you go for the north-south choke, like this, I can go here and roll you over. You understand? So you wanna make sure that you have good balance. This is a much safer position for your arm. If I were to try to roll you, your hand could just spread your hand. Yeah, yeah, but pull your elbow in. Just like that, look, see how I can't like, I can't like roll you, but if you go around my neck, see how I hit, hit you there? So it doesn't mean that you're gonna get rolled all the time. Obviously there's a north-south choke there, but what I want is I just want you to learn basic controls. Now, so now he switched to this position. So now look what I do. I grip here, I go here, I move, and I come towards the phantom. How does he counter the phantom? He changes his right hand back to an underhook. Once he does that, I'm now coming back and towards a ghost to pop my head out, you see? But he switches to doorstop. Yes, I swing back. See how I'm popping out on the phantom? Now you're gonna come back for the underhook. He puts me back down. You see how that works? Now bring your right arm over my body. Before, yes, now put me towards my back. You see that? 
and I come out this way. One more time, get your underhook, put me down on my back. You see, and it feeds back and forth, back and forth. And you put, develop this kind of, uh, it's like a buildup, like a momentum, like a swing. You know, the kid gets on the swing, you push him a little, he swings a little, you push him a little more, and he swings back and forth like a pendulum. And eventually, it's so much, something's gonna happen. Something will happen. Just remember, just wait long enough and something will happen. You wanna try it really quick? Let's go. I have horrible jokes. <laughs> Check it out. This guy barely laughs at my jokes. So if I'm here, do you, do you good, are you good with this side? Uh, or would you rather go the other side? Let's go to the other side. It sounds like you just felt your, your energy. I can, feel, I can do that. When I've been training this long, I can feel the energy of my partner. Go, show me ghost, grab the arm. So I don't go, yeah. Now, go ahead, uh, right arm between the bodies. No, no, all the way, all the way. Yeah, move, move and pop out, show me that. Boom, very good. Now come on back, rewind video. Rewind the video, go back underneath. Very good, ready? Now you go to pop out again. I move. So this time, you see this arm? Just go to my head like this. And then the other arm, grab my arm. Now swing your legs back that way and come up on an arm drag. You see that? And now instead, look what I'm gonna do. Grip, underhook, throw you back towards your back, go back to the ghost. Now I see how you would come up. So you would be coming up around my head, let's say. But if I put my arm here and I push towards you, that, but not over my head right here, see? This is where it gets very confusing. This is like a cross face. You cross face my head that way, and you arm drag me, go. Yes, okay? So that's gonna be for you to practice, okay? Now you guys, you guys gotta do the same thing as Connor. You gotta go practice, all right? Thank you guys so much. Share, like, subscribe. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, why not, okay? Um, I got nothing else. If you want to contribute to this channel, we can do that through Patreon or PayPal. We've got the links down below in the description box. And if you want to be a part of our YouTube membership, just to help, you, can, you guys can donate, become a part of our membership, and uh, I'm always going to give you guys the good stuff. All right? Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Did I just say good stuff? And then I said more good stuff.